In this video, I will show you how to turn your picture into an animated panorama PowerPoint presentation. First, you want to look for a picture that you like. This can either be a personal picture or a picture from a website like unsplash.com. You want to insert this picture into PowerPoint by going to insert in a ribbon and clicking on picture. And here you can select the picture you want to add. You want to stretch this picture to fit the size of the slide. Now you want to add a new empty slide by going to home in the ribbon and clicking on add slide. And on this slide you want to make cutouts from the picture on the other slide. Copy the stretched picture and paste it into this new slide. Go to insert in a ribbon and click on shapes. And you want to add a rectangle shape. Make sure that you stretch it as big as possible and place it over the picture. Every part of the picture that is still visible will be cut out. After you've placed your rectangle shape, you want to select the picture by clicking on it and then click on the rectangle shape, in that order. It will not work if you do it in another order. You then go to shape format in the ribbon and go to merge shapes. And here you click on subtract. This will create a shard of the picture. You can copy this shard and place it on the picture on the other slide. You want to create multiple shards for both sides of the picture and on screen right now is how I'm doing this. After you have made your shards, you delete the second slide and go back to the first slide. Hold your mouse and hover over the shards on the left side. This will select them. You want to right click on any of the selected shards and click on format object. And here you can fold out the shadow menu and add the following settings. This will create a cool shadow effect and will also serve as the outline of the picture. It's possible that these pictures are stacked incorrectly and to fix this, you want to right click on one of the pictures that is too far to the front or too far to the back and click on bring to front or send to back. You want to make these changes to the right side as well. After you've edited the right side, you want to open up the selection pane by going to home in the ribbon, arrange and selection pane. You want to name the shards. The shard on top should be called 1, the one under it called 2, the one under that called 3, just like that. You want to do that for both sides, and both sides should start with a 1. Now you want to drag the objects with 1 to the top. You want to put the 2's under it, just like I'm doing on screen right now. And now it's time to add animations. Select all shards and add a grow slash shrink animation to it. You want to change the animation duration to 1 second in the right up corner. You want to open up the animation pane and select all grow slash shrink animations by holding shift on your keyboard and clicking on the first and last animation. Right click the selection and click on effect options and here you want to change the size setting to 105%. Now you want to select all shards on the left, go to the add animation tab and add the lines animation. You don't want to use the regular selection window, you want to use the add animation tab. Change the effect option to left and after that you want to change the animations. You want to click on the red arrows that have appeared and change how far they go. To keep a straight line you can hold the shift key on your keyboard. Having different traveling lengths will create a cool dynamic. You want to do this for the right shards as well, but instead of the effect option left, you want to choose right. You now want to add a text box. I will add three text boxes by going to insert in a ribbon and clicking on text box. I'm adding one text box, I change the font, text size and color and I will copy this three times. You now want to open up the selection pane again and you want to place the text boxes within the numbers. Put a text box above one, one above two, just like that. And at last, you want to select all text boxes and go to the animation tab in the ribbon. Here, you want to pick the fly in animation. And if you want, you can change the effect options so that the text flies in from a different side. And there you have it. I hope this video helped. Consider subscribing and I will see you next time.